my name is Ada and in this video I will be sharing with you guys my review on a few sunscreen products that I've used so, and I want to tell you guys that my skin type is more towards the oily and um, sensitive acne prone skin so I would try to find a sunscreen that has the least oiliness and doesn't show any shine and also I would love to find something that has zero uh, least white cast and just something that is suitable for sensitive acne prone skin so before we go on with the review I just want to tell you that sunscreen ada dua jenis satu mineral and satu lagi chemical chemical ni macam tak sesuai sangat untuk sensitive skin so it's better to use a mineral tapi yang mineral ni dia ada white cast dia macam nampak putih yang tak tak cantik lah so basically mineral sunscreen dia block the sun rays by reflecting and chemical sunscreen dia block the sun rays by absorbing and then dia ada chemical reaction and then dia akan dissipate sebab tu orang sensitive skin tak sesuai pakai sebab dia akan rasa macam panas-panas disebabkan oleh the chemical reaction so let's get on with the review okay so i will share with you three products from the korean brand and two products that i got from drugstore This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. It has SPF 50 with PA Triple Plus. This is a chemical type sunscreen because of the ingredients like Inzofnon and Octocryolene. Neutrogena is actually a western brand but look here it says it is made in Korea. What? Okay so the nozzle is quite big because it is also meant to be used for the body as well. And the texture I would say is quite thick, medium thick. But after blending it out, you can hardly see anything. It feels almost made, but still a little bit sticky though. The first thing I see when I look at the packaging, it's like so big. Benda ni 88 milliliters untuk harga 45 ringgit je. I mean, like that's quite cheap lah to me. I think sebab dia besar. Tapi the reason why dia besar sebab dia boleh pakai untuk body juga, bukan muka je. Okay, mid lah. Tak adalah nampak macam oily sangat. So that's why I like it. Tapi, 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 tapi sedih sangat sebab dalam ni ada benzophenone. And it is a dangerous chemical for sensitive skin especially. And that's why I when I use it, rasa macam tak selesa. Kadang-kadang rasa macam panas sebab chemical reaction tu berlaku. It smells too macam too artificial, like too minyak wangi. I don't know, I don't like the smell. It's too strong to so I don't think I will repurchase it. I mean, there's still so much and I don't think I want to continue using this. So I'm probably just use this on my body instead of my face. So. This is the Innisfree Daily UV Protection Essence for sensitive skin. It has SPF 50 with PA 4 pluses. It is a mineral type sunscreen because it uses titanium dioxide as the ingredient. The nozzle is quite small, you know, just perfect and nice to avoid from too much product coming out. The texture is very smooth. It's like um, watery cream. Very lightweight and easy to blend. It dries almost mid, but you can see a little bit of shine on the skin. So let's talk about the packaging. I mean, the packaging is like super simple, very nice, and bunga sikit. Cuma ada a little bit bulky, tak boleh nak penyik-penyikkan dia. Smell like a uh, baby powder, kind of. I really like the smell. It's not too strong. It doesn't mean this is just like the perfect sunscreen from my skin because, you know, it's sensitive. So if you look into the ingredients, benda ni juga ada Centella Asiatica, which is good for, you know, uh, acne scars and acne skin and also ada Vitamin E, which is anti-aging, I believe. Memang akan repurchase. Um, this is like 65 ringgit. Selesa, tak ada, la, uh, tak ada shine sangat, tak ada white cast yang terlampau and it's just perfect. I just love it. 
This is the Face Shop Natural Sun No Shine Hydrating Sunscreen. It has SPF 50 with PA3+. It is a chemical type sunscreen because it uses ethyl hexyl methoxycinamate. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is also known as octinoxate. The nozzle is small, just nice to avoid overspill. The texture is like a cream. I can say it is lightweight and easy to blend, but it does leave a shine on the face after using it. Okay, so this one packaging is very small. Um, comel juga macam bau bedak ya yeah, bau bedak is the powder baby powder smell it's not oily tapi dia nampak shine faham tak harga dia 80 ringgit untuk 50 ml uh, which is i think is quite mahal juga i like the smell but it's too glowy and i don't like it that it's chemical it, i don't really want to use any sunscreen that has a chemical type sebab Memang rasa macam gatal dia pakai So that's why I would try not to repurchase this anymore This is the Biore Aqua Rich Watery Essence It has SPF 50 with PA 4 plus This is a chemical type sunscreen Because of the ingredient Octinoxate The nozzle is not too small But also not too large to cause any spills It's just okay The texture is like milky gel or quite watery. It is just lightweight and very easy to blend. Ini pun cantik and the fragrance is wow, it's too strong. This fragrance is definitely too strong. Bau macam fruity, macam citrus. I think it's because Dalam ni dia cakap Ada Sorry ah, Dalam ni dia cakap Ada citrus fruit extract Tapi citrus fruit extract Sebenarnya bad For sensitive skin Which is maybe the reason Why I don't My skin Tak suka Bila pakai ni And this is also A chemical sunscreen Which uses Octinoxate Walaupun dia ada Hyaluronic acid Which is supposed to Moisturize And ada Cooling Feeling is still I don't I I still feel uncomfortable wearing this. Rasa macam, you know, kadang-kadang rasa macam gatal sebab, you know, the burning sensation and stuff. And the fragrance, the fragrance, I don't like that the fragrance is too strong. I don't like that it's a chemical. I don't like that it has a cooling effect somehow. Walaupun cooling tu macam bagus, tapi sebenarnya, basically benda tu macam alcohol lah kan? Sebab, it's a juke, so it's not really good for sensitive skin like mine. So I, although the harga is only thirty ringgit, thirty ringgit for fifty milliliters, this is by far the cheapest one among all the other products that I'm reviewing. But I think it's not worth it. If you have a normal skin type, maybe you can try it. But I don't have a normal skin type. I have a acne prone sensitive skin, so this is not for me. This one is the Cosarex Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. It has SPF 50 with PA Triple Plus. It is a combination type of sunscreen because it has both titanium dioxide and also octinoxate in the ingredients. The nozzle is also just nice, nothing special, not too big, not too small. I wish I could share with you guys how the texture is like but as you can see, I use this until the very last drop. So let me just show you some pictures on the internet. Thank you to wittycupcake.com Okay, so basically the texture is like a milky cream and it is definitely not lightweight to me. I think it feels thick on the skin which is suitable for those with dry skin. It is very moisturizing, I think. So this one, the packaging is like, um, you know, the typical Cosarex packaging, very simple, very nice. This one, it smells like um, floral. It smells like aloe, but I love the smell. 
Dia RM55 for 50ml I think it's quite okay uh, Sebab berbanding dengan yang lain yang lagi mahal Dia terlalu thick dekat muka Kalau orang yang dry skin memang sesuai rasanya pakai ni Sebab dia mem memang moisturizing Tapi for me, I have a lot of uh, skincare layer sebelum pakai sunscreen So bila pakai sunscreen yang tebal It doesn't really feel comfortable for me So I don't think I would repurchase this Unless um, I want to use this as a moisturizer Maybe I would repurchase this Okay, so that is all for today's video Thanks for watching guys